And so, this is Audacity 3.4, and if I remember correctly, the real-time feature for VST3 plugins came on version 3.2. Um, I guess I'm a bit late to the party, but as always I'll show you a few more things in the way. But first, let me play you my brand new cover, alright? Have this left behind It'll only slow us down Which obviously is perfect already It only misses a reverb plugin that I'm going to add right away E to open the sidebar with the real-time effects And get more effects We need a reverb Delay and reverb and typically I will go with Tal Reverb 4, that has a good support for Linux and it's also free. Not open source, but at least free. Save on home. Unzip. And what we want to do is to copy the full VST3 folder and paste it on .vst3. By the way, the exactly same way works for the LV2 plugins, that you need to put on .lv2 obviously. As a side note, there is not currently support for custom plugins locations, but there is a discussion to add this in the future. Alright, I think we done. So let's go back to Audacity to add it maybe? Tools, Plugin Manager, Rescan, and I really hope it won't need to restart the application. Um, select track, add effect. Okay, here it is. Now. One problem is that Audacity won't draw the graphics on VST3 plugins. This is a known issue, and on GitHub I've seen they have tagged it for Audacity 35 but there isn't any pull request for fixing it, so who knows what's going to happen. But you can disable the graphical UI, and Audacity and basically all DAW programs will use the text version of the plugins, which might not be that user friendly but it's better than nothing isn't it? Anyway, now with reverb enabled, it's time to listen to the next extra hit of Spotify. Have this left behind It'll only slow us down Your heart will be your guide Alright, I believe this was perfect uh, Almost perfect But in reality, since today I stopped using Audacity for my audio mixes and I switched to Ardor Actually I'm pretty beginner on audio mixing, but I find Ardor super easy to use much much easier than Audacity really. But I must also warn you, don't make the mistake to underestimate Audacity. There is a YouTuber, I can't remember who is he, but it's one of these channels that every upload hits a million views and more, and the guy is using Audacity. So I guess Audacity should be super awesome too, but personally I find Ardor more convenient to use. Anyway, let's make the same like before, and enable the VST3 plugin. Unfortunately, Ardor will also look on .vst3 path, so we don't need to do any extra work. Ooh, and I forgot to tell you that both Audacity and Ardor are installed from Flathub. Okay, death metal now. So that was it. But one more very very good choice for audio mixing is Resolve Fairlight, which has also the great benefit that you can sync audio to video if that's needed. But it also has a couple of bads. First of the installation is politely, what the fuck? Imagine that for Resolve to work in Fedora currently we should replace the included glib2 with the glib2 from Fedora 38 repos, and occasionally Resolve is giving several such stupid issues. The other problem is that Resolve in Linux doesn't support any plugins but on the bright side includes all the basics for an amateur production. And I really love its 4 bands compressor, one of the best compressors I ever used. In fact, I still do some post-processing of my voice in Fairlight. Anywho, let's go! Die, die. It'll only slow us down Your heart will be your guide Raise the sails and take the helm That legend's every place that the end of the map reveals It is only legendary Till someone proves it real Through me all, through all the troubled times Through the heartache, through through the pain Know that I will be there Stand by you To take your day to save my day 
five minutes video breaking. Woohoo!